my god! Big fish! Big fish! Big fish! I just got absolutely tanked. I'm rubbing like mad here. Oh shit! Big rub. Don't know what this is. Good morning. And uh, welcome to the second instalment. It's a different morning this morning. It's cloudy. The sun's about to rise in about 25 minutes. I got up a little bit earlier today. Big plane coming over. I've made my way down to the peak, which is bang down here. We're gonna get stuck into it now. Wow, big lightning strikes! Huge lightning strikes out there. Might have to check lightning tracker to make sure they are not on their way here. But the wind's coming from my back, so it's actually heading that way. So we should be fine. Anyway. This could be the last time I come to this mark, even though it's the second time I visited it. If you haven't checked out the video already, please check out the video from my first time fishing here, catching Dentex. Great little session, wasn't really expecting much. More of one of those, just cast till you catch, and I caught two fish. Beautiful. But yeah, this could be the, the second and the last time I come here for now. Might come back here again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get down there now. We're gonna go fishing. Hopefully that lightning out there stays over there. Wish me luck, let's go. So deep here. Just gone for a fish minnow. Oh, oh my god! Big fish! Big fish! Big fish! Oh! I don't know what this is. I just got absolutely tanked. I'm rubbing like mad here. Oh shit. Oh shit. Big rub. Don't know what this is. Big rub. Oh, he's rocked me. Oh, this is a huge fish. This is a huge fish. I don't know what this is. Big fish. Big fish. Oh my god, what is it? Oh my god, it's huge. It's right down there. I'm gonna have to walk it somehow. Oh. It's in the overhang. I'm not gonna be able to land a fish like this. This is massive. Massive fish. I don't even want, I just want to look at it, see what it is. Oh my god, it's one of those huge. Fuck, it's massive. It's one of those massive group of things. Look at it down there. I don't think I'm gonna be able to land this. It will snap my line. Holy shit. If we can get it around there, we might get this. We might get this. Got to be as careful as possible. Oh. Holy shit. There's a tank. I might actually land this. Oh, what a fight. Right. Right, let's see if I can get down. Just got to be really careful. Might just have to handline this. 
he's huge. If I can get to my my line, I might be all right. Oh, here we go. Yes. Yes! Oh! Yes! What a fish! Take the fish middle. I don't know how I landed that fish, but wow! Wow, wow, wow! Look at that thing! Monster. I've always wanted to catch one of these fish. I think it's like a yellow spot grouper. He absolutely obliterated my fish minnow on the drop. I was just winding it in nice and quick and then tanked me. Absolutely tanked me. Let's fucking go! Come on, bro. I'll let you back. There you go. Little fish minnow. Oh, look at the red mouth on him. Absolute giant fish. What a giant fish. How I landed you, girl, was... Oh, I don't know how I landed you. But I did. Fishing when you're away on holiday or traveling can be a funny old sport. It's not like the usual haunts that you fish at home, your usual favorite places, places you know best. It's totally different. It's a new battle. Firstly, you don't know what you're gonna catch every time you throw the lure into the water. But also, you're unaware of your surroundings. It's new. You have to take everything into consideration. And that's what I do when I travel and fish. I used to have the mindset that when I turned up to these hot countries, I would catch fish. But that soon changed when I was traveling. It was hard work, but I quickly learned and adapted to my surroundings. And that's a moral that I've taken all the way through my fishing adventures, especially when I've been abroad. Don't expect to catch everything. Try your best, fish the techniques that you use, but also find out some general knowledge. Oh, oh, I'm in something. What's that? Oh, barracuda. Yes. Wasn't expecting that. I've got a barracuda on. I don't know if I'm going to be able to land. Oh, he's off. He's a, there's loads of barracuda down there. He probably smashed my lure up twisted it <laughs> twisted my hook you can see like three big barracuda below me he fucking chopped my lure up little shit bag slimy things barracudas yep they're below me again oh they are big barras Oh, just had a hit there as well. Oh, just had a nice fish just take me again. Don't know what that was. Oh, I've got a fish. Yes. I don't know what it is. I'm sure. Oh, it's a barracuda again. Oh, it's a big barracuda. Big barracuda. Big barracuda. Don't. Oh. 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 It's 
for big barracuda. Big barracuda. Look at the size of that. Oh, at last. Well, I had the grouper this morning and I had nothing else after it for ages. And now I've just had this. I lost one of these before. It was a beast. And now I've just had this second one. Look at the gnashers on that. Slimy things. Oh, at last, on the fish minnow and silver. Not bad at all. Lovely fish. Really happy with that. Boom. And that's what he took, the little fish minnow in silver. Well, that concludes this trip. I think I got it best on the first time I came here with the two Dentex. The second time, fuck, it's so hot and it's really hard to get up this cliff. It's a really hard one. Second time, obviously we had that nice dusky, like really nice from the shore. I'm, I, it's probably one of the fish of my life, to be honest. Uh, really was good but this morning it was a bit weird I had really high hopes but yeah the fishing wasn't great at all there was a lot of kuda around I got snipped a couple of times and eventually I landed one I didn't see any fish didn't really see any fish moving through and I'm wondering if the kuda you know when they're in the area because there was quite a few of them at times scare the other fish off but yeah that's it as you can probably see, there's a massive storm in the background. That's been ripping through as well, so... That's kind of a wrap. It's time to move. It's time to go back, enjoy my last day on the sunbed. Bit of a swim, bit of a snorkel. In the morning, I'm not going to come back here. This is, this is the end of it. Um, I might go for some mini species tomorrow. I'm not too sure. We'll see. Uh, on some bread, maybe some mullet, some white bream, things like that. But. Time will tell, I'm, I'm pretty sweaty, I'm pretty knackered. I think it's time to go. But thanks for everyone that's watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you know what to do. Subscribe. Click the little bell for notifications. Ting! Give us a thumbs up on all the videos. Every little helps. Leave a comment. I don't care if it's bad. I hope it's good, but if you want a bad comment, if you've got something to say, I'm an open book. You know, tell me what you think and, you know, if it means I have to change a couple of things, I'll do it. Because I want to be a better fisherman, I want to be a better person and enjoy this with you guys as well and take you to all of the places I go, whether it's Little Jersey or if it's abroad. I just want everyone to enjoy it. So I think that's time to wrap it up, put the camera away and say thanks very much Spain, it's been incredible. Goodbye.